Hello there and welcome to the Pacific Coast Auto YouTube channel. This is the channel where we show you guys the vehicles that we bought from auction. My name is Derek Weldon and this is a 1991 Honda Beat in the fairly rare white color. Now most of the ones that we've bought have been either yellow or have been red. And this of course is the uh, K-Car 660cc 64PS uh, hot little, I guess you wouldn't call it a hatch, it's a, an open top car. and. Uh, bought from auction this one's going to be sent over to the USA because the vehicle is now 25 years old and qualifies for the USA 25 year exemption for import regulations so 1991 super fun car 64 PS makes it uh, not powerful but very fun to drive rear wheel drive with mid engine and then open top so this one has 110,000 kilometers has weird steely wheels I've never seen those until this one 14 inch and 13 inch kind of interesting here's the information that we got with the car or when we bought it and so let's take a look 1990 oh it's gonna be a little bit hard to see let me just block yeah shadows good okay it's a 1991 Honda Beat 660 CC auction grade 3 interior grade C this is all in Japanese I'm just gonna translate it here as we go 109 903 kilometers on this one interestingly this one has a six digit odometer so you know that that hasn't rolled over some of the earlier ones had five di five digits so do be careful about that okay it has aftermarket exhaust aftermarket steering wheel tower bar that one's on the front original white color like I said I've never seen one in person that has been this color I've seen black I've seen color changed ones but this one's an original white timing belt was replaced in 2017 April 10th at 104 909 kilometers good to know that it's been done recently and as recently as April somebody thought it was worth investing in this car so that's a very good sign especially timing belt on something like this might be over a thousand dollar job I'm not entirely sure so let's look at the report now seat is saggy and has a cover on it that covers ripped in fact they don't really say they say uh, seat saggy cover on ripped and so actually the seat is ripped and the cover is ripped in this case and so steering wheel wear and scratched trim comes up that's on the door and it's quite interesting I'll show you when we when we get there interior is dirty core support has been dented soft top is ripped various scratches and dents body on here has a little bit of corrosion here medium dents here and here and some uh, a2 scratches here and here so let's have a look at the condition they just pull that through now we don't say how much we bought the cars for because this is somebody's car and that's a privacy thing but I will say Honda Beats can usually be had for anywhere between 200,000 and 500,000 yen okay this one here has kind of mid to higher mileage the body is in lower than average but still not bad condition can definitely have a little bit of work done to it to make it better running condition I left the trunk open here so we can open it to take a look at the engine once I do the walk around and the engines on these cars are fairly noisy engines you can hear a lot of mechanical sound in the engines but they tend to be fairly reliable from what I've seen of all the cars that we export I haven't had an issue with a Honda Beat yet <coughs> excuse me case still has the yellow K plates on though there but they have to be <coughs> excuse me they have to be handed in when we deregister it it's good to buy cars that have registration on them because that means that uh, they have recently been driven on the road okay I have to say the body looks excellent in white very good look need some different wheels but yeah that white is is very good the front bumper has tiny little overhang and the headlight goes right to the tire uh, well so kind of interesting design there okay it has vents in the back here or intakes for the uh, rear one of them goes to the air intake and one of them is just I guess for uh, the same looks front and rear rear overhang is very tiny and there's that aftermarket exhaust and the AC is on that's why you're hearing the uh, engine speed change it might be you might find that the engine sounds different in the video than it does in real life because the the camera audio tends to come in different than real life and it tends to pick up like the the mechanical sound more I would say but compared to the other beats that we export this one doesn't sound any different and the engine revs to I think just over 8,000 rpm 
Let's have a look. Red line is 85, or at least the red spot on the gauge is 85. And so 85, 9,000, the engine will start sounding really good around 4,000, and it likes to be revved. So that's where it gets all of its power at the high RPMs. So oil looks good and the coolant looks fine in it. You get a tiny little compartment here to put stuff. And there's not really any space in the front to put stuff either. And so space is a bit of an issue. Mac Racing, it says. I wonder if this is a solid lifter engine. Kind of sounds like it. Wouldn't be surprised. You do want solid lifters on a high revving engine. Okay. Let's go inside, and here is the fun part. We've sold probably about 15 of these beats. This is the first one I've seen with a soft fabric on the doors and on the dashboard. And that's the part that comes up. You can see it's a bit saggy there. And so that should be easy to fix. We we'll just peel it up, spray glue, and go. Turn the engine off so I don't have to speak so loud. Okay, so aftermarket two-spoke steering wheel. The cockpit in these is really low to the ground, like very low to the ground. You feel like you're that far off of the ground, which is really cool while you're driving it, but a little bit difficult to get in and out without putting stress on this side bolster piece here. And that's where all these seats rip. It's on kind of 60 to 80% of them that I've seen. You can get one without a rip, but it's, it's pretty hard to find. And so, uh, these are leather seat covers. They come with a zebra print fabric. I don't know if I can peel some of this back. You can kind of see it in there a bit. So they come zebra print, which is very 90s and very <laughs> fun to look at. Okay, the gauge binnacle is kind of motorcycle style floating there, which is kind of neat. You know, Honda makes motorcycles and this engine is closer to a motorcycle engine than it is a car engine since it's less than one liter in size. This is a shift light. And there's a controller for it down here. Okay, and then there's a mount here on the dashboard. The dashboard itself is in good condition. This soft fabric is really nice to see because it's usually just hard plastic here and hard plastic on the doors. And I don't know if you can see it, but these doors tend to scratch up pretty heavily. So having that on there prevents scratches in this area, even though they're still gonna be apparent there. And I'd like to know if anyone has experience, what kind of products work in clearing that up so that it's not uh, kind of that faded plastic look that plastic gets. Something like back to black or, or something like that might be useful. Or you could just paint it, I guess, and then paint would be a little bit more of a permanent fix for it. So floor carpets seem to be in pretty good shape. You have some extra pedal covers. The pedals aren't too close together, which can be a problem for some of these K cars. It's uh, fairly easy to drive, but the dead pedal isn't really enough space to put a full foot. Some people don't use dead pedals that often. I couldn't, I don't, didn't think it was a problem, but my feet aren't gi gigantic size. Okay, this console piece is aftermarket to fit a single DIN CD player. And uh, usually it doesn't fit a single DIN stock. It comes with a tape deck, which is kind of funny. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if anyone has the provisions to record something to a tape that they wanted to listen to. And of course you can't go out and buy tape stuff, uh, tapes from this, uh, the record store. If there are record stores lasting. Um, AC, I forgot to check. Doo -doo -doo, which key is it? White beat, there it is. This one is my key ring for K cars. These ones. Okay, so let's start back up there. And yeah, the AC works. Okay, so good. And off, off we go. Cigarette lighter goes in there. I'll just plug that back in because my OCD is going to explode. And then it looks like we have USB, uh, USB chargers for their five volt. Okay, power windows on it. They need the power on in order for the power windows to check. Oh, today is a weird day. Usually I do the reports in the afternoon. Today I did the first thing in the morning. Power windows. Okay, and then there were tweeters put into here. Those wire holes for the tweeters to be installed. They're on either side, but they've been since removed. 
Okay, so overall the condition is fair, I would say. Knowing what we got this one for, I think that it was an extremely good deal. It was on uh, the lower end of prices for the beat. Can't say exactly, but uh, the condition of it, quite nice. Now let's look at the uh, problems. I'm just gonna quickly do this. Uh, the back has two A2 scratches. They are here and here, and here, here, here. Okay, faded badge there. More scratches here, this is the other A2, here and here, here, here. Okay, and then there was a C1, and the C1 is corrosion, and it is here. Now the underside looks pretty tidy and good, the sills look good, there's a little bit of surface rust on the jack up point, but uh, for a car that's 25 years old, it's remarkably little amount of rust. And then the back of the soft top is cloudy. I watched an ammo video on how to clear that up, and you might want to try some of that stuff. Use an alcohol, and it'll, it should clear it up. And then we got, uh, here's the tear. There are actually four of them. One here. One here. The seam is ripped off of the back. That doesn't count as one of my four. Otherwise, I don't know how to count. One here. And you can see that, that here's the seam, and it's just missing for this section. And then one here. And of course I detailed all of that in pictures and in other videos that come with the report. And so, basically that is going to be it for the white 1991 Honda Beat 110,000 kilometers steel wheels. And going to be exported from Japan to the USA. So thank you everyone for watching. Check out our website. Post a comment, like, all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day.